Drag itself is an art form. It's whatever you make of it. These are just people, they're just performers. I mean, they're just having a fun hobby just like anyone else. To me, drag's kind of like an extension of who you are. Some people might see it as dressing up as a character, but for me and many others, it's an extension of ourselves, and that's something that always has really appealed to me as a person. It's kind of like playing dress up. You know, you get to put on a new per that sounds really creepy, but you kind of get to put on a new persona. Like it's kind of like you're walking in someone else's six inch stilettos. There's a different drag queen for every single talent. There's ones who do burlesque, there's ones who do comedy, there's ones who can do acrobatics, uh, they sing, they dance. Uh, some of them are just really good at serving face. Um, there's not really a drag box. One of the re biggest reasons I try to start a drag show here is because of age. If you don't know much about most of the clubs and bars around Pittsburgh, you're only able to get into them if you're 21. That includes participating in their drag shows. The gay community, it's very hard to find some place that's uh, open and accepting towards your, uh, towards you if you're under 21. So for a lot of people that want to do drag, they can't really get involved in it because they're under the age of 21. So my hopes was to begin with a few people here who might want to do drag but can't because of age restrictions and then build up a bigger community so more people from around the area will have some place to go to do drag. Someone's going to be live, sing actually singing live and we're going to be lip syncing and I think someone might be doing insult comedy so I'm really excited for that. Get the word out there, get more people involved and just have fun while doing it because that's the biggest thing that I want this to be a part of is just people having fun and expressing themselves in any way they can. Yes. There's tape, there's glue, there's paint on your face. It's not comfortable. You know, it's not easy. You gotta psych yourself up for that. But also it's so much fun. It's so much fun. We as men have to hide our features f first, which means blocking down our eyebrows and then covering our faces in a very strong, um, foundation and then we have to build up from that. As men, we're really not expected to do anything that really expresses ourselves too, express ourselves too much. So when people go out and do drag, it's kind of a slap in the face of what we should be doing. I believe wholeheartedly that it should be entirely inclusive because just because you're straight doesn't mean you don't have some value that you can't express. There might be some part of you that you have to hide deep down and I believe you should have a platform to express that. No matter your sexuality, race, religion, anything like that, there should be no restrictions whatsoever.